Hey guys, today I'm making a very traditional dish from the Middle East. This dish is called Fettet Hummus and it's a special hummus blend. It's creamy, it's crunchy, it's nutritious and most of all very delicious. Let's make it together. We're gonna start by making the sauce blend which is the heart of the mix. And it's a mix of red onions, sweet onions, a little bit of parsley, two cloves of garlic, sweet pepper, and spicy pepper. I process as fine as possible, then move it to a bowl, add a generous amount of lemon juice, and leave it aside to marinate. And as always, you'll find all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below. Here I'm gonna add 3 cups of cooked and drained hummus. And I'm gonna make regular smooth hummus by adding a little bit of paprika, a little bit of garlic, tahine, and some lemon juice, salt, a little bit of cumin and I mix and here I started with hummus made from scratch I soaked the garbanzo beans overnight with a little bit of baking soda cooked it for half an hour the next day I highly recommend making it from scratch because you're gonna use the liquid from the garbanzo beans and it's not gonna take so much time, it's just a matter of soaking it overnight. And try to watch my video that I made on making hummus, how to get it right and how to get it smooth. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Although I'm leaving all the exact amounts, you really need to taste your hummus to adjust the flavors and you always need to work on the hummus when it's cooled down completely. I taste tested the hummus, it tastes so good and it's so smooth. I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. A generous cup of yogurt, plain yogurt, two to three tablespoons of tahine, and two tablespoons of lebne, which is basically a more sour and a drained yogurt product, and mix very, very well. Now I'm gonna mix some of the garbanzo beans whole. I'm gonna add some of the sauce to the whole garbanzo beans, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cumin, you can add paprika if you want, and mix. And we're gonna need double this amount. So I showed you how to mix two and a half cups. We're gonna need another two and a half cups of garbanzo beans whole. I add the mixture to it and I set it aside too. Now I'm ready to plate the dish. At the bottom of the dish, I'm gonna have some crispy pita bread. You can fry it, you can put it in the oven. I added a little bit of vegetable oil and I toasted it in the oven, but you can definitely fry it. This is much lighter. I prefer just toasting it with a little bit of vegetable oil. About two thin loaves of pita bread on top of the crispy pita bread I'm gonna add the garbanzo mixture 
I'm gonna add some of the garbanzo water the liquid that I boiled the garbanzo beans in about half a cup just to wet the crispy pita bread a little bit and I'm making a little bit more of the garbanzo beans mix to go on top of the smooth hummus I lay most of the smooth hummus on top of the crispy pita bread and garbanzo beans mix and don't forget to follow me on social media and subscribe like and share my videos and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos I'm leaving the links to my social media in the description box below another layer of the garbanzo mix last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna fry some almonds and top it with a generous amount of fried almonds Enjoy with more pita bread or with a spoon. I hope you're enjoying my recipes and I hope you try some of them soon. And until next time, bon appetit!